What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Run with me, Manny Wilson. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at underscore Manny30. Give me some suggestions. Talk to me. You know, you know, if you got, got some ideas about a topic, go ahead and let me know. If you think I'm wrong about something, let me know. I'm open to it. I, I might even message you back, criticize you a little bit, talk back. But anyway, um, I got some basketball topics here. And I have a special guest with me, Jawan Griffin. He was here last time with me on the run, and we talked about basketball, a few different things. But he's here again with me on call. Jawan Griffin, are you still here? Yes, sir. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so we're just going to get into this topic. Um, Kawhi Leonard, he signed with New Balance. <laughs> Out of all teams to pop, or out of all different like shoe companies to sign with, he signed with New Balance. Let me hear your thoughts on that. I got me, I got me a pair of New Balances in the closet. <laughs> you know, I, I rock with the New Balance. <laughs> I've been rocking New Balance since I was a youngin'. Oh man, I'm put it. Okay. it. It's smart business move. You know why? Let, let's hear it because you might say the same thing I'm thinking. First, so first New Balances. Is they're coming back out with basketball shoes? That's apparent. That's mm-hmm. the surprise or whatever. Mm-hmm. Then you get a, a small time, a small time shoe brand that's known with a, a a guy that the people feel like he's not energetic enough. He doesn't woo people, but he's like he's a well known superstar. Mm-hmm. I feel like that that can, they cannot mess this up okay. because the campaign as <laughs> I guarantee it's gonna be some funny, catch meme worthy campaign ads because yeah. in, 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 in those things provide bad publicity to me. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fine line, but I yeah, get what you, I get what you're saying. Like, I get I like, get what you're saying. If you want to get something known real quick, it can be good or bad. It's just gonna have people talking about it, and just like this has people talking about it. Yeah, now I do agree with you. I I do think this is probably like really good for Kawhi Leonard. For a player like Kawhi Leonard, who who gives buckets, he's a what all, or uh, Finals MVP, fin- yeah. Yeah, Finals MVP. He so he everybody know he's sweet, but he's just a quiet. He's more on the quiet side. So when you move him off, this is how I look at it. When you move him off to the side and put him with a small brand, I think because I am I I think he's the only basketball NBA player. Who, that's yeah. with New Balance, right? No, yeah. that's negative because okay, who who else? Have, no, I'm uh, saying now. I'm saying and today. I'm saying like in, in the NBA, NBA now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, in the NBA now, he's the only one who's with them. But in the past, they had was it James Worthy. I think it was. Yeah, but yep. now they have, they have they also have uh, Darius uh, Baisley. Oh, I don't know that dude. Uh, nah, he the must. The boy is the truth. He the boy uh, is the truth. he in the league. No, he uh okay. he was he was supposed to sign to uh, Syracuse, but he opted out, and he's sitting out this year. Oh wow! And he, and he in January he starts his internship with New Balance, so he can know the business side and how to create mm. a shoe and blah okay. blah blah. Hey, that's good though. That's that's actually yeah. really good. Um, I'm glad New he Balance is getting back into it. But but my point, like with, with them signing a guy like Kawhi Leonard, who is quiet, and you mentioned it, like you know they'll be able to single out commercials specifically for him versus how yeah. Jordan, they might use one of their other outspoken athletes. Like they might use Westbrook, they might use Chris Paul yeah. because they have more outspoken athletes than just one. And someone who's quiet like Kawhi Leonard. And like you know, people don't really want to want to see this quiet dude. But when you when you're New Balance I, I, and he's your only you. person, I I, did, I disagree with you. Well, let me let me finish though. Let me finish. Let me finish before fault, you disagree. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me finish. So so when you're New Balance and you have one one star who's on your brand and you decide to make a commercial, you don't have anybody else to go to. He knows that he's the only person that you have to go to if you want to make a some kind of basketball commercial. You have to be the guy wearing the shoes. You have to be the guy who's possibly going to say some kind of lines. It's not like they can go out and grab a star that's bigger than you or another star that's more outspoken. They can only grab just normal citizens and just have them play a role in a commercial with you. So either way it goes... Your face is going to be seen, and your face is going to be known to the public. And how many New Balance commercials do you see out now? None. It's not baseball. Exactly. Yeah. If it's not, if it's not baseball, or, or it's especially basketball, there's no none, no basketball um, New Balance commercials. Uh, about you might yeah, but at, you said it the best. At most, you might see baseball New Balance uh, commercials, mm-hmm. if anything, and and you barely see those. So when they come out with this first New Balance commercial. 
everybody, I'm sure they're going to play it like hell all over TV. Yeah. <laughs> and how many commercials do you see Kawhi Leonard in? Not that many. You don't see Kawhi Leonard in front of a camera too too often. So but that I, you said, what was that? But I think that's the thing. They're gonna play on his um, bland personality. It's gonna be funny. I feel like they're mm-hmm. gonna put together some funny, interesting ad, ads that catches people's eye. I can that's agree gonna, with that. I can. That's why that's I say like, it's oh, a good thing. Guy, not you. And it's going to show that this guy is only like that for camera. And I guarantee, I guarantee behind closed Ooh. doors, like, why Lynn has a, person, uh, a personality. He has to. Yeah. I don't think he just dry all the time. I just yeah, feel like cause he, he yeah, with media and NBA media and reporters, man, you would you would honestly think he's probably the weirdest or the quietest guy in the world. The, per- but, the perfect person I can match him up with is Marshawn Lynch. I don't know. Um, Marshawn I'm, Lynch. The only reason why you you don't say that because he has funny clips of where he's to the medium to the media that's like catchy. Right. Like, oh, I can see why he doesn't do that because he really doesn't want to be in front of the media, so he just man, jokes around. Blah that's, blah blah. blah, blah. And that's a different well, story why? to me, man. That look, let me tell you why this is a different because Marshawn Lynch did and said whatever the hell he wanted to. Honestly, Kawhi, he seems like a guy who's more timid. And isn't going to just do exactly what he feels. And, and definitely because he seems like a guy who's by the rules. He, I think he just got his I don't, first. I don't think he, that either. He just I got his. I don't think that. You know, I, but look, he just got his first technical foul this year. And, and he's been in the league for for a good minute now. Okay, he got his first that's technical the, foul. You would see Marshawn the Lynch. They find this man so many times for every little thing. And he did not care. He didn't care. They find they find him for grabbing his balls in the in the end zone. And what he do next time? He had a big run and seen the end zone right in front of him. Grab straight on his nuts. <laughs> that, that's the, there's two different people between Kawhi and Marshawn Lynch. Okay, but I don't think that's the thing. I don't. Okay, you just said he just got a ticket foul this year. That's the same. KD didn't get him a foul till it was like his fifth or sixth year. Yeah, but we know Kevin Durant is not socially awkward. Or, or, yes. yeah, we know that for yeah. sure. What was that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I feel like he's on he, spe- he, spe- he speaks and he spoke more than Kevin or than Kawhi Leonard. At least Kevin Durant okay. was in a movie. He had his own movie when he was with Oklahoma. And that movie sucked. He, yeah, yeah. He the movie might not have been the best, but he still obviously went with it. And he was acting yeah. a little bit in there. And, and hey, that was that. He spoke when he was with when Oklahoma City Thunder. He he gave a lot of uh, suggestions and he would speak on how he felt. But Kawhi Leonard, we rarely ever see that. Okay, but look, is it because because he doesn't want to because people take words out of context. That's why I feel like that's why he doesn't speak like, speak at all if it's not basketball oriented. Yeah, but he's I, he's just not that kind know, of guy, man. Yeah, I don't need to know. Yeah, I don't need to know all my business. So. Whatever happened outside of basketball, yeah, I don't need to know. Some I, things to keep the questions in basketball. You that's know, all, that's what I've been like. That that years. might be it, but I am like I said, man. He he doesn't seem like that kind of guy. He doesn't. He just doesn't seem like that kind of guy who even, you know, wa- even wants to give it, give suggestions or or give information to media. And that's part of, partially on, on what you were saying by like you know stay out of my business type of thing. But even if. It's a difference from it's a difference from when someone has business and trying to keep it away, like LeBron does sometimes. Sometimes LeBron might curve the media a different way, like you know that's not none of your business, no. Nah. But so that's what I mean by when you have business and trying to keep it away from people. But then again, when you present yourself a certain way, like Kawhi, he seems like he doesn't even have business. Like it's it seems like he doesn't even have. Any business he will want to hide. And I know everybody does at some point. But... And the thing is, he doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care. Yeah, he, you're you right. don't think that he doesn't, but you're going to ask him anyway because he's a top three player in the world. Yeah, that's true. And, and you're right, but he he don't care. and He just want to play. And that's the thing. That's what I think New Balance is going to get him to. That's why I think New Balance is going to get him to be a little bit more outgoing. Just a little yeah. bit. And, and they're gonna, they're gonna get people to going. know like who Kawhi Leonard is a little bit, you know, because right now we all just know he can play basketball. That's the only thing we really know about him is that he can play basketball. What else do I need to know about him? Is he impacting? <laughs> is he impacting my life any other way? Come on.
come on, man. As a, come, is come, he impacting your life? Is he is he impacting people's lives? Is, is he putting he's, food on my goddamn table? No. So why do I need to <laughs> know anything more about him than he plays basketball? Because man, in the NBA today, they want to know everything about this. That's isn't not NBA this, period? That's, that's it's, it's journalists and reporters and things like that. They want they that's want people. The we live in. They want people. Yeah, that that's true too. It is the world we live in now, especially with uh, dealing with sports athletes. They want to know. They want for the NBA specifically. They want the players to be more connected with the players. They you got to think it's all a business at the top. It starts at the business, and they like you know if our fans are feel like they know more about a player or feel like they can relate more to a player. That's gonna they're gonna they're going to like going to the games and they're going to want to go to the games. Like think about when you were young, me and you, we both played basketball. So when we were young, we looked up to whoever we looked up to, you know, I had a favorite player, you had a favorite player, whatever. But we liked that player because of certain things. Yes, because they were good in basketball, but whenever we find out something else, you can't tell me I'm the only person who ever did this. Whenever you find out something else, like, you know, Oh, say this guy is, Say he didn't. He grew up without a dad or something, and say I grew up without a dad. Right, then right, you right, like, you're right, yeah. Right. Then you like, okay, you know, we got that in common. Oh wow, we got that. I can do it too. That's the kind of relationship the NBA wants fans to have, and they want to be able to build that connection from players to fans. That way, fans are like, you know, I gotta go see this guy play. I want to sit super close to him. That way, I can ask him a question about anything. Oh, you right, you right. <laughs> And, and that's where I think New Balance is gonna help them, um, and they, they just gotta help them connect up, connect with the fans more. And eventually, that's what it's gonna be.